Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're digging into one of the biggest emerging trends almost nobody in the mainstream finance appreciates yet. Green hydrogen as the next major power source for the AI era. AI growth is now outpacing the grid. Nvidia is raising demand. Utilities can't keep up. And suddenly hydrogen, the thing that everybody wrote off five years ago, is ripping back into relevance. We're going to break down why AI has made hydrogen investable again. The big winners like Plug, BE, F-Cell, the new demand coming from hyperscalers, and one under the radar name, Charbonne Hydrogen Corporation that I personally own and think that it fits the new thesis in a very interesting way. Let's jump in. AI's power crunch is now in a full-blown crisis. AI data centers are now the fastest growing power consumers in the world. Here's the math. A single state-of-the-art AI data center can pull 500 megawatts plus. That's equivalent to powering a city of 300,000 people. Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Meta are now planning hundreds of these. By 2030, AI could increase US electricity demand by 160 to 200 terawatt hours annually. That means we physically cannot build grid capacity fast enough. And this is where hydrogen comes back from the dead. Why hydrogen suddenly matters again? For years, hydrogen was a punchline. Too expensive, too early, too inefficient, but AI has changed the economics. AI doesn't need hydrogen to be perfect. It needs power where the grid isn't ready. Green hydrogen provides four things. On-site generation using electrolyzers, reliable baseload for data centers, and zero carbon footprint satisfying ESG regulatory requirements and scalable in megawatt blocks. Suddenly, hyperscalers are signing MOUs with hydrogen developers and states are pushing incentives. And this isn't 2021 hydrogen hype. This is an infrastructure catch-up problem. Let's talk winners. Plug power. Plug is becoming the default institutional hydrogen play. Catalyst, Gigafactory scale electrolyzers, production tax credits, improving economics, first movers on large scale green hydrogen contracts, direct conversations with hyperscalers. This is why funds have been nibbling again. The valuation compression has created asymmetric upside if execution improves. Bloom Energy. Bloom doesn't do hydrogen fuel cells the same way. Their solid oxide technology is ideal for data centers. Why Bloom matters? Can run on hydrogen, natural gas, or blends? Off-grid capability? Recently positioned themselves explicitly for AI data center backup and base load. Bloom isn't sexy, but they are the closest to profitable scale. Fuel cell energy. Fuel Cell has underperformed for a decade, but they are showing real traction again because they actually specialize in large installations. Utilities understand the tech and data center operators are revisiting megawatt scale fuel cell deployments. High risk, high reward, but tied directly to AI power demand. Now let's zoom in into a segment of the market that I think it's structurally mispriced. Local distributed green hydrogen producers. Instead of betting on billion dollar mega projects with seven to 10 year lead times, these players built smaller module facilities that serve data centers, industrial customers, heavy transport, municipal utility partners. This is where I see the most realistic near-term ROI. And this is exactly where Charbon Hydrogen Corporation comes in. I own shares of Charbon Hydrogen Corporation, and, but this is not financial advice. This is just my opinion. Here's why it fits this AI power thesis. Charbonne is building North America's first decentralized network of modular 
green hydrogen facilities. Their model is rapid deployment, 12 to 18 months, not decade long mega projects. They focus on regional supply to industrial and mobility customers, exactly the kind of applications big utilities can service fast enough. Their Canadian plus US rollout gives them an early mover advantage with incentives. And importantly, they're not trying to be plug or bloom. They are building infrastructure, not hardware. In an AI era where power needs to be local, reliable, and clean, companies like Charbonne are suddenly positioned far better than the market realizes. Again, just in my view, but it fits the theme perfectly. I have been talking about this company for almost two years. For a long time, nobody cared. But recently, the stock price started soaring and so many people started to talk about this company now. Here's the big takeaway. AI is creating the largest energy demand shock since the birth of the internet. Utilities simply cannot keep up and hydrogen bridges that gap. We are witnessing the first phase of a hydrogen renaissance, driven not by ESG, but by economic necessity. This time, it isn't hype, it's infrastructure. Big players will win, but distributed, modular, fast deployment names will surprise a lot of people. If you found this useful, hit the like button. It helps out the channel a lot. And drop me a comment telling me which hydrogen names you think benefit the most from the AI energy crunch. If you want to learn more about Charbonne Hydrogen Corporation, then watch this video. See you next time.